Hi, this video tutorial I will cover random access file. Using random access file, we can read from a file as well as we can write to the file. Using random access file, we can move the file pointer to any position within the file and we can read from any position within the file and also we can write at any position within the file. Reading and writing using file input stream and file output streams are sequential process. Reading and writing using random access file is non-sequential process. Here you can see the modes supported by random access file. The first one is read only mode. The file is opened in a read only mode. The second one is read write mode. The file is opened in a read write mode. And if file is not there, then the file will be created and it will be opened in read write mode. Next one is RWS mode. In RWS mode, file is opened in a read write mode. Any modification to the file content and its metadata are written to the storage device immediately. Next one is RWD mode. In RWD mode, the file is opened in a read write mode and any modification to the file's content are written to the storage device immediately. Here I am creating a random access file object using random access file constructor which accept file name and access mode. Random access file has a file pointer that moves forward when we read data from it or write data to it. When we create an object of a random access file, the file pointer will be at 0th position. Using a seek method, we can move the file pointer to specific location or position. Here you can see myfile.txt. Here you can see the content of myfile.txt. Here I have defined the class random access file read demo. It has main method. I am running this program in debug mode. Inside main method, I have created random access file read demo object. Then I am calling read data method. I am passing file name as myfile.txt and access mode is read only mode and position is 5. Here I have created random access file object. In random access file constructor, I am passing file name and mode. Then I am calling seek method of random access file object and I am passing position as 5. So the file pointer will move to the position 5, which is this position. Then from fifth position, I am reading each character and displaying the output. Here you can see the output. Inside finally block, I am closing a random access file. Next we will see using random access file, how to write the content to the file. Here I have defined the class uh, random access file write demo. It has main method. I am running this program in uh, debug mode. Inside main method, I have created uh, random access file write demo object. Then I am calling uh, write data method. I am passing file name as uh, myfile.txt. And uh, access mode is uh, read write mode. And uh, position is uh, 20. Here I have created a random access file object. In random access file constructor, I am passing a file name and mode. Then I am calling a seek method of a random access file object and passing position as 20. And in 20th position, I am writing the data, which is and Sri Lanka. 
inside finally block i am closing a random access file and you can see the file is updated and the new file content is added and this is about random access file and thanks for watching